one of the things that I feel like I've, I've taken with me throughout my career is in, in terms of your reputation, right? It takes individuals a, ve a very long time to build their reputation, let alone organizations. And, you know, it can all go away very, very quickly, especially living in the digital age. Within 24 hours, you might have built something for the last 10 years and it's gone. Um, and so I imagine as, you know, one of the world's leading communications leaders, what, what, how do you begin to identify threats to an organization's reputation uh, proactively, right? I'm sure there's a moment before the moment before the moment that you probably have your eyes on and you're able to identify that maybe a lot of people can. So how do you do that? And how do you combat those threats to a reputation? Oh, there are so many ways to answer that question, but because cybersecurity is so important, let's talk about what's happening in the digital space alone uh, to illustrate the point. Look at GameStop, a perfect score of the short sale, a perfect storm rather, of the short sales of Reddit, a social media platform, and editorial media jumping on the bandwagon. Fascinating to note that the run up in stock was due to those elements, not because there were any, any changes in the company's fundamentals, and that's critical because that's the way it used to work. Mm -hmm. But now we live in this environment where there are these other threats that we have to listen for, look for, plan for. Now, to GameStop's credit, they realized that it was an opportunity to work on the fundamentals. And they did make some leadership changes in order to be able to do that. But I'll give you another equally frightening example. And it's a company in the UK traded on the FTSE. I won't disclose the company, but they were in a quiet period prior to earnings. And all of a sudden, and they traced it back to this, a bad state actor was dumping misinformation through bits and bots on the internet about the company and it was in the weeks leading up to an earnings report that was expected to be very positive. Now, when you're in the quiet period, you can only rely upon what's already been publicly disclosed to defend mm -hmm. yourself. So here you are as a company basically being manipulated by a bad actor, at least your stock price is, in the reverse of a pump and dump and there's not much you can do about it until that earnings report comes in. So again, we talk about that license to operate and that reputation. That's a perfect example of when it becomes more critical than ever so that people give you the benefit of the doubt mm -hmm. in times like that. Mm -hmm. But it can all happen to your point, Kyle, just that quickly. Mm -hmm. 